Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are building a streak. We are doing it. We really are. And I'm going to randomize and see who we get. Ooh, a bit of Tainted Keeper. I actually love a bit of Tainted Keeper. Risky, could easily lose the streak, but a very fun character nonetheless. And before I forget, I want to start off this episode by asking everyone here a question this is a basic one basically i want to try asking questions to you guys more in oh god oh god oh god don't i oh my god i want to start asking questions to you guys more often in videos i mean for one just because i really like interacting with people in the comments but also just to kind of get to know some of the regular viewers and stuff it's always interesting um I'll check my shop first. I might go planetarium. I'm kind of I'm kind of tempted by it. Um, but yeah, first first up question right here is what is y'all favorite food? It can be a meal itself, it could be a singular item. What's everyone's favorite food? Because that is always something that's on my mind. Whoa, what this shop's a bit wacky. Um there's not actually anything in here that I think is super valuable, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, everything here is kind of I mean, the Quake Oats is actually pretty good. But this does make me want to head into my item room pretty severely, I've got to say. I, I do apologise, game. But, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. oh, you see it? You see the dukes? It was worth it. It was worth it. Um, But yeah, I'm going to say, like, one of mine, one of my top table, top, hello. I would have to say, especially meal-wise, carbonara, lasagna, anything Italian pasta themed, pretty top tier for me. So yeah, it'd be interesting to know what you guys, what your favourite is. It could be a sweet, like I said, it could be a meal. And then, on top of that, I would also like to ask you, what questions do you have for me? Because I did it, I did this in a previous episode and I really enjoyed um, answering them and, and reading questions. It could be about anything, about, um, about life, about Isaac, about anything you want. This is a very hard boss room, by the way. Um, this is a very, very hard boss room. Uh, I might, yeah, I, I think I'm going to die. I'm almost certain I'm going to die. This is a super difficult boss room right here. That didn't hit either of them. You got you gotta be kidding me. Okay, th this this bombing dude has to die first. I realize I'm gonna miss out on the pennies here, but they're over the top of creep, so ain't much I can do about that. That was very close. And you gave me the pony. Do you know what? I actually think the pony's worth having, because we get flight. And a massive speed upgrade. But yeah, uh, mainly because I kind of want to, um, I kind of want to, uh, ooh, should we, should we open this, this golden chest? I think we should. Yeah. Do you know what? Hookworm. Let's do it. Let's give it a go. Um, yeah, I kind of want to sort of not only answer these comments in, um, in the comment section and just kind of answer whatever you guys have to ask, but also... Just use a few of them here and there as topics of conversation for future videos. Because one thing, like, I really I really like just kind of... I mean, I do it all the time. Just speaking about random ass... Okay, this is actually horrible. Uh, I kind of hate this. <laughs> I really enjoy just speaking about, like, random ass topics and just kind of going completely off... Ooh, this is not a good idea. I should not... I wasted so much coin potential there. Um, Just going off on random ass topics and just talking about kind of whatever I like is one of my favorite things about doing YouTube, to be honest. Oh my god, this is scary as all hell. Um, because I just get to ramble, <laughs> and for the most part, people seem to enjoy it. Uh, but, it's, sometimes you just kind of, you just kind of get stuck for a topic, or like, you, you feel like you end up repeating yourself, or you just kind of, you need something to sort of refresh the old memory box, and kind of get something going. So, I think something like a sort of little question segment each episode, if I can remember to do it. If I don't remember, please slate me. Um, but if I remember to do it, getting some um, some cool questions for videos, but also some cool questions for just answering in the comments in general. Um, okay. We Honestly, we're not getting very good stuff here. I feel like stolen place cards, it, which is, is, that, is that what it was always called? Either way, I feel like this is pretty good. It's got, it's definitely got some, some high value potential. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stay out the way of that. Um, because it could spawn some good shops for us after room clears and stuff. But at the same time, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. But yeah, it's always interesting to find out, like, especially considering, it's, it's one of the, the cool things about uh, doing YouTube, really. You, you get viewers from, like, all over the world, for the most part. It depends on how big your channel is, really. But you do get quite a, quite a global, um, sample size of people. Um, and that leads to some really interesting stuff of, like, 
asking questions like what's people's favorite food and stuff because you get some some answers you probably wouldn't expect in a lot of regards okay that's gonna be a good bomb yeah okay just don't worry about the pennies too much we'll get plenty hey that's a luck penny though now devil deal i think yes i think yes to devil deal and i'm very happy with it I don't know what the Scorched Earth thing does. I, I do kind of want to take it, but Rift Shot is pretty moist, spicy. Rocks now have a 7.5% chance of turning into a fire of any type. A couple of Wisps will orbit the fireplace, acting as a turret. The effect will correspond. Yeah, we'll go for that. Just because it's more interesting. Just because it's a bit different. I think we should go for that. And we shall go and actually bomb our um, machines in our arcade first. See what we get from that. But I'm hoping Planetarium Chance is is sticking with us. I don't know. Something about, like, Andromeda has kind of got me in the mood for them. I, I don't normally go for them as this character, but I'm just in the mood for them. That's pretty cool. <laughs> An arcade with just a bunch of loaded dice in it. So, this is actually part of um, Repentance Plus's new update. It, it updated um, ch literally seconds before I started this video. Because I know that because I was editing Repentance Plus to change one of the files a little bit. I was basically tweaking some of the item pools slightly, which I've been doing on a few different mods here and there, just to make them a little more balanced, at least in my opinion. Um, and were we going anywhere in particular? Just the lamb, okay. Uh, and I then booted up the game to see that it updated. And of course, when it updates, any changes you make to your personal copy get overwritten. So I then had to go and make all the changes I just made again. But I was looking through the change log and they um, added some new hearts. They lowered the weights of all the hearts that currently exist, which is a great change, obviously. That was very scary. Um, yeah, great change, obviously. Uh, and then on top of all of that, ooh, thank you. On top of all of that, um, they added some new items in, did a few balancing changes here and there. This could be good for us. Sadly, just a little pill. And they added custom room layouts. Oh, there you go. There you go. Added custom room layouts with um, oh, the custom items like cards and, and stuff like the loaded dice. That's something I basically haven't ever seen before. But because it's now in a custom room of its own creation, it's a bit more likely. Okay, so unfortunately, we're not going to get to see what this is, but... I'll take it. Do you know what? Neptunus is a great one for us. Charges up pretty slowly, but it's going to give us a nice fire rate boost uh, when we're not firing here. Yeah, that's actually really nice. I like that a lot. That's going to be super useful. Because it's going to... I know it charges slowly and it depletes pretty quickly, but it's going to charge between rooms and in like situations like we're in right now. Um, so I think this is going to be pretty good. We can start going to item rooms now as well. Honestly, I kind of love this fire item. I gotta check something after I get some pennies on the floor. Are we fire immune with this item? I would assume so, but it's not really safe to say. Obviously, we'll just buy this and see what it is. Ooh, really happy I bought that. Good old Sister Maggie. Sadly, we've not actually had a proc yet from um, from good old the good old uh, place nameplate. Um. I feel like, and I know I abuse my donation machine just uh, way more than anyone ever should. Okay, so let's try this. I am not immune to fire. Good to know. We got school bag. Actually, school bag's pretty decent. I also bought a key for some reason, which honestly isn't bad, but probably shouldn't have done that. Damn, they only give us one penny. Isn't that a shame? Honestly, there's fires everywhere. This is great. I wanted it. I needed it. And I got it. This is so good. There is literally... Like, 7.5% chance is actually a pretty high chance. Didn't think it would be, but... It's proving to be very valuable. Good amount of money going into this. Pestilence, you little dookie. I actually managed to um, use our pony there for a bit of invincibility, a bit of iframes to skip over that attack that he fired at us. Hoping we can get some fire right here to supplement this um, <laughs> low fire rate. But Neptunus has been a good little sort of hide like a band-aid to kind of fix it in the meantime obviously this will be a cube of meat so what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go and check on our shop this could be secret room it's a bit of a weird place for it to be yeah I'm gonna say it very much could be though and honestly we'll crack you open as well little fella thank you and money is looking pretty good right now actually uh so we got school bag from one of them wooden spoon not the wait Oh, I just learned something interesting. Also, nice, we got two actives now. So, apparently, 
Because the pony gives you a, a speed buff that doesn't actually physically change your stats, all it does is amend your stats. Like, it's not a stat up, it's just a temporary stat that's affixed to an item. Getting a stat up doesn't actually give you... Like, I got a, a 0 0.2 speed... 0 0.3 speed up, but I have a 0 0.5 speed up from Black Pony, and therefore I didn't actually get any speed up whatsoever. That's kind of interesting. I kind of think that's kind of cool, but also annoying. <laughs> also, Extinction Event here is going to be awesome. Another Andromeda item that's just great. I can't remember what this guy drops. If he drops an item at all, he did not, of course. Um, spawn two blood donation mash machines, spelt wrong. Killing enemies can spawn hearts. Um, lasts for current floor. Calm down, Extinction Event. I guess we'll pop some of these do dudes out, doids. I I'm liking the fact that we have school bag now, because essentially now Perny is just completely passive speed upgrade and flight. We don't need to use it for anything else. Like, it's, it is a usable item nonetheless, so I'm not, I don't want to completely disregard it. But I don't have to sort of actively think about it anymore. God damn, look at how many fires there are. It's kind of crazy. Oh, hello, cube boys. But yeah, it'd be nice to see um, to see more mods do what Repentance Plus has done here. And just uh, add some rooms that have their... Um, ow. Ha add some rooms that have their uh, special cards or pills or whatever in them, just here and there, sprinkled throughout. Not super common-like, but I was saying in, I think it was the last episode I recorded, actually, either that one or the one before, that essentially there's some... Really? That's kind of rude. It's still fired at me. Okay, I'm in a bad spot right now. I'm gonna say, yeah, there's, there's some, like, cards and stuff that I've literally never, ever seen. Just check in here first. Okay, yeah, I don't care. Um, that I've never, ever seen before from some mods. Like, I was, I was talking about, um... One of the ones from the sewage collection for the reflected um, items. Oh, we're getting some dooky stuff right now, unfortunately. That I've, I've never seen. It's like a card that makes everything in the room reflected. I've had that mod on for a very long time now. I've been using it since essentially the day it became available. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I still am yet to... Uh, I'm still yet to find that card, so... I suppose once you get to this many um, extra added things, it I wouldn't say it becomes a necessity, but if you if you want things to be found somewhat regularly, or at least you have an idea of how common you want them to be rather than completely random, maybe a good idea to, to add those in. By no means am I saying that every model now has to do that. I'm just saying I thought it was a, a good idea by the Repentance Plus developer to... Oh, I might die here. Um, oh, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, to get their stuff a little more seen, a little more out there. Do you know what? I'm just getting... I'm more annoyed that the mushrooms are just in the way than anything else. Ooh, hello. Oh, we are doing very well on money right now, which is good. I am very surprised that our shop has not procced yet. Our pop-up shop. It's not, not even once in four floors now. Kind of crazy. Um, I know that it's a, a like a somewhat low chance, but I've had it proc like multiple times in a floor once. Uh, I, I wouldn't like it to be too like too common to be honest. I'd rather it be not very common than too common, uh, just because I feel like it's a very very powerful ability. Uh, even if you don't have much money, it can still be very very strong. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not saying I'd like it to be too much more common, but it is kind of ridiculous that we haven't had it even once yet. <laughs> This is kind of a hard room. I like it though. I love these uh, these worms. The little frail worms that have the big row of shots. Because they're not that much harder to dodge, but they do have like a sort of extra element of difficulty to them. Okay, we still haven't found our shop here. Whoa, -ho -ho! bouncy boy. Let's uh, let's do our shop here. Familiars move with the player's movement inputs. Hold down um, drop to keep familiars in place. I don't think we really need that going on. But yeah, we can pop our um, extinction event here to get some extra damage here and there. It's rather nice. Oh, God. Should probably keep some of these uh, maggots alive just for potential... Uh, of us getting hit and needing some uh, ability to regain some HP here and there. I know that not all of the maggots are going to drop money, but still good to have them about, isn't it? Right, so we'll see if we get a devil deal here. Well, like, very likely to. 
We also got the Avenger emblem, which is pretty good. Um, Thumbtack. Give Spectral and Piercing to all familiars. I feel like that's pretty good. It might even work for the fires that we've got going on right now. And I feel like Hungry Soul is good enough for me to take. I mean, to be honest, Empty Vessel is as well, but we don't even have, like, we don't need flight, so I'd rather just take this and go back to our shop. But yeah, flat one damage up. Our stats haven't been the greatest so far. Neptunus has really been the biggest get, so that's kind of important for us right now. Um, and we'll see what we get from the shop. Hopefully something with a decently high caliber for us here to, to see us through. I love Hungry Soul. Hungry Soul is like one of my like items that I think is just thematically so fucking cool. Ooh, Golden Flakes. Now, Golden Flakes is, is kind of an odd one. Because you really want to be holding a very good trinket that works with being golden, that, that doubles properly. Obviously, we don't have that. But I will grab it anyways. I It did drop Crow's Heart. I don't think Crow's Heart does anything for us. Um, <laughs> can you normally have Golden Heart Keeper Hearts? I feel like that's not normal, right? Like, look, look at the UI for that in the top left corner there. That doesn't look... That doesn't look right, does it? <laughs> Something about that's a little, a little kooky. Just a little bit wacky. Let's just go. Okay, so we're on Necro. Neptunus is all charged up. It's really nice getting that, like, absolutely fat burst out there straight away. Okay, so money's pretty decent as well here. Why aren't these enemies dropping money? That was weird. Um, I don't know if we get hit if we're going to drop coins because of the Golden Hearts now. Because I, I, do, I genuinely don't think we're meant to have them. Like, I, I, I swear that's not meant to be possible. At least if it is, I've literally never seen it before in my life. Oh, get in there. Nice. Hungry Soul doing its thing. Still yet to see a shot proc. I mean, okay. It did indeed work. Um... And it left money on the floor too, which we should probably leave lying about. Um, one thing I am kind of curious of at this point, getting this far in, is the item broken? <laughs> is Have I got an item that's conflicting with it, or have I have a mod updated that's somewhat broken it? Because I really feel like it should have procced at least once by now. Piercing. I think piercing is very much good enough. Piercing is very useful. Oh! Speak of the Devil. Unfortunately, not anything I care about there, but Speak of the Devil. I just got very unlucky. I don't know what the actual chances are. It could be that it's like a 1% chance, and I've just prior got very, very lucky. And this time I was getting average luck. That That is one thing that kind of... This, this sounds like a suffering from success meme here, but that is the one thing I've got to say that's a real pain with YouTuber luck. Like, YouTuber luck is so real. I mean, the runs that I get the, versus the runs I used to get before I did YouTube, not even, not even a contest. YouTuber luck is just so unbelievably real. Everyone can see it. But, saying that, you get like kind of accustomed to it somewhat, especially in modding. So you're like, oh damn, this thing's so good, it procs so often. And then you get another one, you're like, why is it not procking? Like, what the hell's going on? You're like, this this item feels really shit now. And you realize that the first time you had it, it was just OP as balls, because it was procking, like, on a 1% chance every other room or some stupid shit like that. <laughs> There's a proper sufferings from success right there, but you get what I'm trying to say. I'm sure you've, I'm sure everyone's had something like that though where you pick up an item or in any game not just isaac you pick up like an item or a thing and you're like oh damn this is so cool um this this is so powerful and then um you, you, you then go on to find out in a, in a future run oh wait it's not actually what the hell's this trinket and you have a chance to be abducted by aliens hell yeah i'm taking that the hell does that mean <laughs> i want to know what that means and one of, one of my favorite examples of where this has happened to me, I know I was just giving an example of where it's happened to me in um, in the YouTuber look scenario, but one of my favorite examples, and I do apologize for anyone out there that doesn't give a rat's ass about D&D, &D, and for a few people out there that may have heard, heard this story before on other, on other series on my channel, because I don't believe I've told it on Isaac. Okay, Lil Heretic is just the cutest little buddy you could ever have in your entire life. 
and sulfuric acid is really good too. We should probably grab this too just to see what we get. Double scratch card. I really think scratch cards need to be a lot meaner. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't want them... Also, also doubling our money here is really good. I don't want them to just like give you huge stats down or, or, or deal a bunch of damage to you or anything. But it feels like the either pay out pay out with something hugely positive or moderately positive mo most of the time hugely positive or pay out with nothing and it's like nothing isn't enough of a downside i realize that scratch cards inherently you don't you don't lose anything by by losing a scratch card apart from the money that you paid for it so in that regard it's not great but maybe when you lose a scratch card it should take like 10 cent away from you or 5 cent away from you or something just to make it like just to make it like a little more i don't know just not just kind of free because i feel like using them is just like why would you not ev why would you ever not use them blood clot's pretty good for us here uh, but yes anyways back to back to what i was talking about my favorite example of this this sort of false sense of something being really really good um because you had like good luck with it one time was one of the DD sessions i had um dungeons and dragons my my old flatmate also a great item my old flatmate uh, was a, a dungeon master, uh, which is basically the person, for anyone that doesn't know, most people will, but um, it's basically the person that, that runs the game. They, they host it. Normally, they, um, they like, have the story all set up. It can be one that they found on the on online, or it can be uh, one that they've made themselves. For our uh, DM, my flatmate, it was one that he created himself, um, and he's an incredibly talented writer, and created this just amazing world and story for us to all play, and it was just pretty awesome, to be honest. Um, but yeah, anyways, so one of the things that he did, so we, we'd, we'd made our way to this city where, oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, god damn it. I, I really wish he'd add the developer, Prayan, if you're watching. Just add a little bit of a cooldown to make sure you can't accidentally purchase things that immediately spawn. It's slightly annoying. Um, but basically... This is going to be kind of a bit of a convoluted story, but I'll get there. We'd gone to the city um, to meet up with one of my family members. Um, my character's family members, of course. And we got there, and then we, we needed work because we were going to be staying there a little while, so we needed money. We were, at the, at the time, reasonably well-known travellers in sort of the fact that we helped townsfolk complete their so-called um, so quests sort of thing. Um, okay, that's good to know that's there. Uh, but yeah, so we were we were at least somewhat well known for um, for our good deeds and stuff, and so we were hired by like the Baron of the town because he'd had an exotic painting um, stolen from him, and obviously for us we were just like, cool, go get this painting. But then it kind of leaded led into this weird thing where we found out the Baron was not a very good person and the wealth that he had was not gained in good faith and so we weren't that interested in helping him anymore but we'd already gotten to the point where we found where this painting was and we kind of ganged up on this dude that stole the painting and kind of captured him and kind of found out hey why'd you steal this painting we assumed obviously it's just for the money it's an expensive painting but that wasn't actually the case. The, the case was, I, for any of you that know D&D, you might know this already. But there's a... Th I didn't actually know this at the time. I've, I've only played D&D like two times prior to this. And he'd stolen it because it was like some sort of... Some sort of like magic mirror thing where you can walk into I into the picture. And like there's, there's like stuff in there. And like the picture was like a castle at the end of a meadow. And you could actually go in it and walk up the meadow and um and go to the castle and the castle was like full of riches and all this sort of stuff and it's basically where the baron stored a lot of his ill-gotten gains um and that's why it was stolen but we we got it and we had to we, we found the painting we had to i i think we'd cornered one guy to get the information but another guy was still at large and we obviously assumed he's in the painting so we went into it we ended up uh, capturing him. I think I can't remember. I think we killed him. I cannot remember now. We might not have killed him. We might have just captured him. But either way, and then sort of one one of the things we would, we did is we weren't really a big fan of this Baron guy anymore. We thought this guy's kind of a dick. Uh, a lot of a lot of his riches were not gained um, like very lawfully and uh, kind of screwed over a lot of the townsfolk. So we were like, hell, instead of returning the painting to him, let's just 
take some of the stuff <laughs> and like give it give some of it to our family members and stuff so we did we're a little bit robin hood-esque there but um anyways we, we finally get to the thing i was actually talking about originally uh in this we find um i don't remember the exact name of it now but i believe it was something along the lines of a deck of many things and essentially it's another ooh, reflected um i mean we don't need two of those anyways so i mean i'm just gonna say no um, yeah, it was, it's, it's a, a deck of many things, which was one of the sort of treasures we found. And we didn't really know what it does, did in person, but also our characters didn't really know what it did. So it was a bit of a mystery to all of us, uh, both in and out of game. And he'd actually, he'd, uh, the DM had actually bought a real deck of many things, like a physical copy for, for us to pull cards from. And the way this deck works is, um, there's 52 cards in it. Each one of them has a different uh, thing on it. Um, and you can draw as many cards as you want from it in, at one time. Um, but once you've drawn, you can never draw from it again. So you've you got to pick how many you want to draw from it. And then, um, and then like, that's it. So that, that's your lot. The catch is, there is positive and negative cards. But remember, we did not know this. Um, and our characters did not know this. We we were told uh, by our DM and kind of in-game that about the rule where you can only pull from this thing once. When you, you can pull as many as you want, but what, if you pull one, you don't ever get to pull from it again. If you pull ten, you don't ever get to pull from it again sort of thing. Um, and it, it, it had some, some sort of vague, vague instruction on the instruction card in, in the pack. It had some sort of vague message about the fact that this, this uh, like, it's it's not all good. <laughs> I can't remember what the message was now, but it was a very vague message, very subtle. Uh, but anyway, so I was like, "Hell yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this out. Why not?" Because, I, like I said, our characters were none the wiser, really. Um, and so, ooh, hello. Um, come on, you. I'm gonna use this sun card real quick here. Okay, good. We'll go back to that secret room real quick. Um. But yeah, so my, myself, my character, I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'll pull from this. And I was like, do you know what? Let's just start it off easy. I'm just going to pull one card from it. And I got a card called Gems. And I was like, ooh, we got one of these rooms again. Um, broken Heart. I think I don't think we can take Broken Hearts as this character. I'm pretty sure we'll die, so I'm not going to bother. Um, but yeah, so I was just like, cool, I'll take one. Yeah, I got a card called Gems. And I was like, okay, cool. What the hell does Gems do? And Gems is a card. Bye. <laughs> That's so cool. Gems is a card that does pretty much exactly what it says in the tin. It just gives you a boatload of gems. It just gives you a ton of gems that you can sell for money. And it's worth... It, it was worth collectively triple the amount of money we had between the five of us. It was quite a hefty amount of money. And we were still low level, so we didn't have a ton of money. So late game, it might not be too much. But, like, early game for us, it was a huge amount of money. I was like, oh, my God. So I grabbed that, and I was like, guys, guys, you've got to take from this deck. This is amazing. You've, you've got to try this. Like... Look at all this money we just got. And then the the gems card gets re-added to the deck and shuffled. And then one of the other members of my party was like, it happened again. It was like, oh hell yeah, cool. Um let's see, let's see what, what other good things are in that deck. And lo and behold, they also pull out gems. Bear in mind, there is only one gem card, gems card in the entire deck. Obviously, the card was re-added after I selected it, but there is only one out of the 52 possible cards in that entire deck. So, our characters immediately go, guys, this deck's fucking amazing. This is one of the best things ever. All of you must take from this now because it's making us rich. <laughs> we just got two lots of very, very expensive gems that we can sell. Um, I might die here again. Let's be careful. And I was like, I got, we just got two lots of very expensive gems. We should, like, you got to get in on this. Um, and so my girlfriend's character was like, cool, I will try it also. It seems to be really good for us. She pulls a card and she loses three intelligent points and she's now quite literally a moron. Intelligent wise, she, she's, she's actually a moron for the rest of the entire campaign. It just made her dumb <laughs> for, forever. It was just, it was just the funniest thing. Like we, we got, oh, goodbye. <laughs> we just got the, um, this, this deck and we we're like, cool. What's all this about then? Vague, vague sort of warning, but seems pretty cool. We'll try it out. 
pull from the deck. Oh, cool. Gems. Pull from the deck. Oh my god, even more gems. We're rich. Let's go again. <laughs> Knowing that we can't ourselves pull from it more than once, we egg on one of the, our other team members to try it out. And of course they do. And it's like, oh, and you're done forever. <laughs> And we never touched the deck again. <laughs> oh, I just, I found it so hilarious. It's so funny. Did I not get a coin there? There you go. Yeah, I just, oh, it was just hilarious. Ah, oh, damn it. Can't grab that. I, I love, I love D&D. I've, I've spoken about D&D &D before on, um, on, on my videos on Isaac and on some other games. I've spoken about it a little bit here and there. And it's, it's something that I unfortunately don't get to do as much any off, uh, as, as often anymore because my um, the, the DM, my old flatmate, uh, unfortunately had to move out um, and he's moved to another city so it's a little hard to like meet up to do D&D. &D. Um, but I would like to get back to it again but that was that was one of the, the funniest interactions we had while playing. There is definitely an, another one but considering how long it took me to tell this very short and very basic story <laughs> I probably uh, I probably shouldn't tell it in this episode because I don't think I'll finish it by the end of the episode uh, but yeah I have like many of you out there played D and D or do many of you want to because like I've heard of a few different people playing it online and that's obviously fair especially during COVID when it's a bit harder I did try it online and I'm not quite sure if it was just because I didn't have a great DM because the, the DM that I had in person, my flatmate, was amazing. And the DM I had online had only done it like two or three times before. So maybe it was the, the DM that made it not as good. But I didn't have anywhere near as, a, anywhere near as good of a time when I um, when I played it online. I played it, I played it online like three times now. And none of the times I was really as into it as I was in person. I think it's just because in person, like, immersion plays a very big role in, like, how you roleplay your character and your decisions that you make and, like... The, the way that, that you sort of handle yourself. And I, I think it just, it's a lot easier to, to sort of role play and be friendly with everyone when it's, um, I might die here again. Yep, I died, my God. I should not have stood right in front of the dark one. That was a bad idea. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll, I'll finish off this ramble here. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Unfortunate to lose our streak this early, but that was a very fun run nonetheless. And I'll see you guys in the next one.